if anybody questioning who Black Malcolm is, I'm straight out of Oak Cliff, Texas. And I'm here today to make an album called Big, 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 you might want to know where this term come from, big for nothing. Well, I'm going to tell you. You started down in the penitentiary when they see a big guy getting his ass towed up by a little guy and he's telling me he's big for nothing. That's basically where it come from. And with that being said, I'll tell you my history of being big for nothing. <laughs> my mom, she's out there in her little shorts, you know, yellow helmet, bopped up. Only thing... She's into it with this other lady. I mean, like, every time they come outside, it's like a diva thing. So I don't give a fuck. I'm a little boy. Well, I didn't know this other lady had a little boy who was bigger than me. And on one fine day, out of perfect day of playing, my mom decides she want to see me fight. When I looked over at this little motherfucker, he's way bigger than me. I don't want to fight, Mom, is what I'm thinking. She's like, oh, Malcolm, I know you can do it. And I'm like, bitch, please. <laughs> but I can't say that to my mom at that age, you know what I'm saying? So from a perfectly good day of playing, the little boy whooped my ass from standing up to laying down, rammed my head into the wall, all while my mom is telling me, oh, I know you can do it. And I'm like, if, if I could just get to a pistol. Getting the well whooped ass in front of my mother and was what I experienced. I remember being in the second grade. I got my first girlfriend. Oh, I would draw pictures, bring her flowers. We walked home from school. We had a ball. Till one day we, we seen a fucking spider. The little bitch quit me. <laughs> Told me I was a black scary dog because I beat her to the goddamn chair. I am, I'm scared of spiders too, bitch, you know what I'm saying? I, I didn't tell you I was going to protect you from everything, you know what I'm saying? And, and the bitch called me all kind of dogs and scary hoes and stuff. It's like, we wasn't that, but in the second grade, you know, hey, give me a break. Moving right along, I never will forget the first time I actually tried to show out, to show I was big and not just for nothing. It was the worstest day of my life. I was throwing a football with a guy. And he could drill the ball a little bit better than me. So after so many times of getting hit in the chest by this guy and the girls laughing, I tell him, I say, you know what? You throw this goddamn ball one more time like that nigga and it's going to be up. And I'm showing my best shit because he's a little old dude. You know what I'm saying? I know damn well he can't whip me, I thought. So he threw the ball again and hit me dead center of the chest. So I went up in all my glory and I pushed the shit out of him. I said, I'm going to beat your ass. But the dude didn't have the look of fear. He had the look of you done fucked up. So I'm looking at this dude like I know he don't think he can whip me. Man, this dude done a move I haven't seen in no karate movie to this day. And he got his hands around my neck. And he choked the goddamn shit out of me from standing up to laying down with me. And before it was over with, everybody outside was saying, please let him go. And when the man let me go, I saw a new heaven and a new earth, and I knew that was a God, and I left him alone and knew I was big for nothing. I remember my first girlfriend, real girlfriend. I was 17, big, 190 pounds, big black motherfucker, like I am now, basically. And we had a nice date. Good dinner, everything. I had money, young dude, 17-year-old, bad girlfriend. And we just had a ball one day. And all of a sudden, it all went bad. I don't know what in the fuck she went and done, but she got with a fucking nigga and got, they got into it at the club and all she talked shit and wait till my man get me. And that was my cue. I walk out here to check this nigga, and when I look up, 
This man is seven feet tall, 300 pounds, 0% body fat, with a ninja symbol in his chest. But I didn't let that discourage me. I took my shit off and handed it to my home. And I say, man, I'm finna check this shit. And I went right over to that bitch and say, don't you never fuck with nobody like that no more. And I beat her ass. And she found out that day I was big for nothing. I had another attempt to prove that the big part in me was sufficient. I'm not big for nothing. Finally, I had another opportunity in life to prove that old Malcolm is not big for nothing. It happened one day on the Lionel unit in West Texas in TDC. I get into it with a motherfucker right before child. And I'm looking at this dude, and he looks like he's a little Hispanic dude, and he's talking and shit. Yo, I ain't scared, Holmes. I'm not scared of you, such and such, such and such. I forget what the fuck we was at. Anyway, I tell him, man, go on on him. Because you ain't got nothing for me, man. He's like, oh, it's whatever. So I say, you know what? After child, meet me, Nick. So everybody like, yeah, yeah, oh, fight, fight, fight. I know I got to walk in the park. I'm under the stairs. I'm practicing. All my homeboys, our big rides. I'm not whooped that whole man, such, 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 such. But I happened to glance, and this little nerd-ass motherfucker sitting on the floor looks up at me and say, you do know who that is. I say, I ain't asked you nothing. Why? He say, that's one of the Gracies. And I say, I don't give a fuck who the fuck he is, one of the Gracies. That, that. And it dawned on me. I say, wait a minute. It's not, you're not talking about them people that was, they showed in National Geographic, is he? he said, yes. I say, they all of Marshall, he said, I happen to have that edition. So I get this motherfucking National Geographic, and I look at all the credentials the Graces have. They train from three years old on up in every martial arts skill. By the time they're 19, they're fully masters in all belts. So when I hand this magazine back, I didn't notice that all the courage was gone and I had a deep yellow line going up my back. And I was singing, Mama said, knock you out, waiting on this fool. Now I'm singing, Jesus is the answer for the world today. <laughs> so the doors come open and here this motherfucker come. One of the gracious people. But I didn't back down. Yo, what's up? You still want to fight? I say, hell yeah, motherfucker. Come on with it. This motherfucker jumps from the front door of the day room and land on one leg all the way by the stairs where I was in a motherfucking martial arts stance. Now I'm scared to fucking death, but I just won't show it. I say, you bring your motherfucking ass. All that old flipping and shit, that shit don't scare me. So I had one last move. I done one of the coldest moves in the penitentiary known to man. Soon as we squared off, I say, bitch, look, feel this commissary around, and I was wrong for ever disrespecting to you and put anything you want on there. And I know now that I'm truly big for nothing. You know, that was a time when men honored being macho. Being big, strong. But as you see, as keeping it real can go wrong, being big for nothing is definitely not an asset. It will get your ass whooped, choked to death, ran off, humiliated. So now, I want to thank all of y'all for enjoying my story of Big for Nothing.